Brother Blacklight here one more time. There are many ways to uh, skin a cat, but I like to say there are many ways to skin a skunk. Now this right here is another hustle. Oh, well, let me turn this away. You're not going to be able to see it. Kareem, Supreme, Clean, uh, Janitorial. I got Janitorial, Landscaping, Buffing, In-Home Cleaning, Waxing, you know. I got uh, offers, you know, in banks. You know, to do banks and you know stuff like that. You know, uh, a lot of a lot of people don't don't want to clean uh, up after themselves. Yeah, 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 somebody else. But you know, you can always uh, get a job doing that. Get your mop in a bucket. You know, and it requires some some common sense now. It ain't. Anybody, everybody can't clean, you know. They're not organized in the mind to clean fast. See, I could clean uh, a whole building in two hours and a half, see. Or maybe three. Office building. And get paid for eight. Eight hours, you know. And uh, if I knock out, see if I'm making a... Uh, a simple thing like ten dollars an hour and I knock out a job in two two hours well if you double that that that, that becomes like instead of ten dollars an hour becomes twenty dollars an hour or twenty five dollars an hour then I'm on to the next job you know and I knock that out in two hours and if I do if I got three jobs and it take me a half hour to get from each job to each job from job to job and uh, say it's an hour and a half that I'm not making no money well normally you have your lunch you have lunch in an hour and a half you know, or half hour, and maybe 15, 15 minute breaks. But I don't break. One time I break is when I'm going to the next job. Knock it out, two hours, two hours and a half, and I be done made a hundred dollars that day, just by myself, you know. But you gotta have the, you know, the, the right equipment and the right, uh, Tools for the job, the right chemicals, the cleaning equipment, the cleaning uh, for the job, you know. And you just got to be good at it. Just don't miss no spots, you know. And a lot of people don't want to do that, see. But a lot of people uh, they made plenty of money off of that. And say so if you cut grass in the, uh, in the uh, summer, and blow snow in the winter, but if there ain't no more snow, uh, do other kind of jobs, you know? You can hustle all year long. See, now this is what this is about. You know, uh, brothers is kind in the community because y'all don't want to do for self. And if you do for self, you want to kind of people. You want to make some quick, easy money by conning or beating the people out of, out of money, you know? Now, brother's saying that, well, uh, we work for the white man and this and that and the other. You're always going to work for the white man. He always going to get a cut, even if you don't work, if you got your own business. You know, you got to give, you got to get licensed to run that business. And you got to pay taxes on, on the 
on the business or rent or something, you know, and uh, keep up equipment. In other words, where you going to get your equipment from? You're not going to get it from a black man. You're going to get it from a white man because they manufacture everything. So, the brothers in the Nation of Islam on YouTube talking about, yeah, well, we independent. You're not independent of this. Uh, as long as you in this nation, you got to pay him some kind of money. If it ain't nothing but for the electric bill, if it ain't nothing for the gas bill, uh, the uh, upkeep of the property, taxes on the property, and then and most of y'all working for the white man anyway. Care if it's a corporate job, an office job, a factory job, or whatever, and he gonna get his income tax. If you live in a house, he gonna get his property tax. You know, if you drive on the on the roads, he gonna you gotta pay for getting driver's license. You gotta pay for insurance. You gotta pay for a tax. You gotta pay him for get to, to uh, fuel your car. So. The only thing you might have is an independent army. This is for the brothers in the NOI. But until, <clears throat> you know, quit, quit asking that man, uh, you know, to me, I, I think we beyond asking for a separate, separate state. Because this is the way I think. If we the oldest man on the planet, and the planet belongs to us. He's supposed to be paying us taxes to live on the planet. See, I ain't never been scared of no white man. Never. You know. Over there on Wildermir and uh, Finkel, I used to knock, knock white people, guys out six foot three. I'd knock them out. Believe it or not. I had many encounters with white guys, you know. On Finkel, Detroit. On the east side, it was them hillbillies that lived over there, on the, over there on Jefferson back in the day in the 50s. And they could fight. Of course, they'd be 15 years old looking like they uh, 10, you know. But they could fight. Them hillbillies can fight. Uh, the Jews can't fight. They might can fight now, though. But they, you can whoop them. Uh, them hillbillies, they, they white, too, but they hillbillies, man. They, can, they, they hard. The Italians, they just fight dirty. That's all. They ain't all that, that rough, you know. They had a cat named, in the ring, they had a Rocky Marciano and, and uh, the Raging Bull. They was, they, they, some of them is kind of tough, you know. Them Polacks is tough. They can fight. The Polacks can fight. Because uh, uh, we fought them all here. Because like Ham Tramick was where all the Polacks stayed. Most of them, all of them, you know. And uh, the Jews stayed out on the west side around Wyoming, and we, we, we ran them away from there. And uh, the hillbillies, they stay, they stay, they'll hang with you. The hillbillies and the Polak, they stay, they stay right there in the ghetto with you, because they poor too, they ain't going nowhere. And they hold their own. If you see one, uh, a white boy hanging around, some brothers, he done proved himself. He can fight, you know. But they can't whoop me, you know. I mean, I, I can't say all of them. I ain't never ran across all of them, but most of them, you know. I hang with him. And you can hit them hard, man. You can knock their teeth out their mouth, and they still come at you. And um, uh, the Italians, the Polacks, the Jews, hillbillies. Out of all of them, the Jews is the most uh, fragile, you know. And just a plain up 
Englishmen. They got a lot of guts, you know. They got a lot of heart, but an Englishman, boy, boy, they got a lot of heart, and they stubborn. They ain't number hillbillies anyway. But Englishmen ain't nothing but a hillbilly, you know. And they they'll hang with you for a minute, but you could you could chop them down, you if you got endurance, you know. But see, brothers now ain't got that kind of endurance. They ain't got that kind of heart to go head up with you. You know, they, they pull out a gun or a weapon or something, shoot you, but they ain't gonna fight you barehanded. You know, they depending on that gun now too much. But uh, to really, you know, slug it out, should growing up in Detroit, man, on the playground, it was just like cage fighting. All the moves you see in mixed martial art, cage fighting, them, them playground moves, you know, and we used the, the fence that's on the playground. That was the cage, you know, the fence all the way around the uh, school on the, on the playground. That was the cage, and we would fight. Well, they, you would be in a circle anyway. They had closed the circle so, so the teachers wouldn't see you, you know. And and you you might all that lunch break you you have to fight you know <laughs> or after school you know we either run home or something man see the brothers back in my day man they was a little more more rugged than the brothers now the brothers now they think they rugged because they could play football and all like that but they're not hard really hard like the first brothers was in the nation of Islam. It was some hard, hard, hard brothers. They had to be hard to, to be in the nation. To start, they were pioneers, man. They was, most of them was, was thugs, you know, from Hastings Street. They make the best warriors, you know. This is Black Light Out, come back with another one.